Howdy! It's the last week of the transcript, and this week we're going to the Northampton Survival Center. The Survival Center has long been a home for the food insecure of Northampton, but they offer many more services than just produce and canned goods. This week I sit down with Carlos Rivera to learn more. What services does the center provide? Um, food and clothing, uh, basically food. Um, we get about, uh, we were talking earlier, we can get rid of about 3,500 pounds of food a week. Who usually uses the services that the center provides? Um, yeah, it's a wide range of, it's not just one population, it's a, it's a big, big range. Um, so we'll get uh, seniors that come in that are on a fixed budget. We have uh, families where both parents are working, but they just can't make ends meet. To individuals that are transient and homeless and um, don't have a place to stay or a place to eat. So what does a typical day for you look like? For me, I usually get in, I check my emails, check my voicemails, then I hit the ground running, I'm out in the warehouse. Um, receiving donations, receiving food that we've ordered from the food bank, and uh, kind of helping to coordinate volunteers. So what is the best way for people to support the Survival Center and to donate? Well, there's a lot of different ways to support the Survival Center. We have a lot of volunteers that come in um, and donate their time. We have a, a, a workshop series. There's somebody that comes in and does haircuts, mm -hmm. for example, and you know, you'd be so surprised how far a haircut and how much that changes somebody's life. Um, we have a doctor that comes in and uh, answers general questions. Um, we have a nutritionist, like I mentioned, uh, um, mass health enrollments, um, uh, SNAP benefits enrollments. Um, so, so yeah, there's, there's a lot of other things that we offer. All right, thank you so much. Thank you so much to Carlos for sitting down with me this week. I'm Ashley Ginsberg, and this has been the final Humans of Northampton.